Hello everyone, first off I would like to say uh, thank you to all my subscribers and if you are new to the channel don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel for more tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to enable two-factor authentication for options. So before we get started if you do not like uh, watching video and you more like a reading step-by-step -step tutorial you can um, head over to my uh, blog so the link is in the top right corner uh, the w for wordpress icon right here that will take you to my um, blog website and from there you can follow the step-by-step -step tutorial the icon on the bottom here it uh, can uh, switch between the dark or the light uh, team and also uh, if English is not your um, favorite language you can uh, select a translation to your um, model language of course Google translation is not always accurate but at least it have um, it will get the point across hopefully and with that let's get started so first thing before you do anything uh, it best to make a backup configurations so anything go wrong you still have a backup to restore to reverse con configurations so by going to uh, system and configuration backups you can make a backup of your current configuration file uh, you have an option to encrypt the file if you select the option to encrypt the file you have to input the password in order to encrypt the data once you done that you hit uh, download configuration I already back up mine so I'm gonna cancel it alright the next step we're gonna go to system and access and then uh, servers so by default uh, when you log in your credential will be uh, authenticate again the local database but in order for us to uh, enable the two-factor authentications, we have to create a, a TOTP server or TAMBase one-time password. So we're gonna select add to add a new server, and we're gonna name it TOTP server. And we're gonna select uh, if you're currently using uh, LDAP database. Um, then you will select that one otherwise it's going to be a local time based one time password so what it means is um, it will be using the local password plus the one time password from your authenticator app whether from um, Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator or one password authenticator and uh, the token LAN, uh, I believe it's at default, which is uh, six digits. This is, will be working on most authenticator apps such as Google, Microsoft, 1Password, Ubico, you name it. Uh, the time window and the race periods, I believe it's blank. So reverse token order, I will select the option. Let me explain what it means. When you log in, with the TOTP two-factor authentication enable uh, it will ask you to input your password and the uh, six digit token if you select the reverse token so what it means is you enter your password and follow by your six digit token if you uncheck the reverse token order then you would input the six digits uh, TOTP first and then follow on by your password all right next we're gonna select uh, users and you have the option to uh, modify the current user or you can create a new user so by the modify you can click on the edit in this case we're gonna add a new user and we can create the password You can put the name and the email but 
you can leave them blank as well and I'm gonna add the username as an admin user group and I will check the option to generate a new uh, OTP seat and we're gonna save it all right so now we have a new user and we have a OTP seat you have the option to manually edit in your um, OTP seat secret or you can uh, scan it using your authenticator app so I will add it in using my Google Authenticator app. I'm gonna add a code and then I'm gonna scan the QR code. And there we go. I have uh, successfully added the new um, account to my Google Authenticator. All right, next step, we're gonna make sure that the TOTP server and the new Google Authenticator uh, is actually working. We're gonna verify that it's working. So when you go to uh, System and Tester and TOTP Server, the username I created earlier, the password, and then now we're gonna enter the six digits from the Google Authenticator app. All right, so I have the six digits as 663409, and we're gonna hit test. Okay, and the user successfully authenticated with the server, so it's mean that we are good to go. And next step, we will enable the login with the two-factor authentications. So we will go to settings, and administrations, and we will go down to the authentication sections. So from there, you see by default is uh, authenticate again the local database, but we will switch it to uh, TOTP server, and we will dis uh, uncheck the local database, and we're gonna save it. All right, we're gonna head back to uh, lobby and lock out and then we're gonna lock back in with the user that we created earlier and we're gonna add in the Google Authenticator so the Google Authenticator is gonna be uh, 133743 and remember if you check on the reverse token order then you would enter the Authenticator uh, after your password, if not, it's gonna be in front of your password and lock in. That's it, we're able to lock in. Uh, so, if you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.